Good job, brother. Awesome. There you go. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. Well, you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're down here at Blue Grotta. We're actually down in North Florida in general and we're doing some cavern training down here. I've got one of my cavern students down here. And if you remember my video from Mexico where I talked about what do I keep in my side mount pouch anytime that I'm diving, say, in an open water environment or I'm just in single tank side mount, I mentioned in that video that I would show you what I wear, say, back home or down here in overhead environments. I'd show you exactly what I carry in my side mount pouch. And that's exactly what we're going to do today because there are some components to this that are going to be identical to what I do in an open water environment. But there's a lot that actually differ because it's a completely different environment that we're diving in. So with that being said, let's open up my side mount pouch here and see what all's involved in carrying for overhead environments. All right guys, so just like we did last time, we're just gonna pull out the components, show you exactly what we carry in here or what I personally carry in here for overhead environment diving. Opening up the back here, you'll notice I do have a set of wet notes here. I can take notes, I can communicate with a buddy, anything like that, got a spare. Uh, working double ender there. Of course, the pouch itself has two working double enders as well. That's what clips off to my side mount harness. Go ahead and open it up. You'll notice that I keep a spare mask, just like I do for open water environments. I also keep another slate. Now, this slate in itself can be used to communicate just like the uh, wet notes can, but this one also has a compass on it. Now, typically in open water environments, I'd leave my compass here on my wrist. I don't really worry about that, say in a cave or a cavern, simply because we got lines most of the time. So this is really for mapping purposes, things like that. I also use this for public safety diving as well. So it comes in very handy. I have my line arrows. Typically I'll have even uh, some cookies on there as well if I need them. And of course, just like last time, I've got spare bungee. This is the bungee for my cylinders. So these are my hose retainers. And then of course I've got spare bungee for my side mount harness. And then if you're like me, you're a little lazy, you don't want to tie knots. Of course I got zip ties. I can tie just a, a quick little knot, fold it over, zip tie, it's gonna be very secure. And then of course I have multiple reels. Now, one thing that you will notice, I do not have an SMB. The SMB really has no purpose in an overhead environment. It's not really good for much, but I do have multiple reels. Now, some people call these jump reels. Some people call these search reels. These are very, very versatile. Yes, you can jump line to line. You can also use these to search if you need to, or in the event for whatever reason your primary reel goes down you can use these as backup as well and then as you can tell i got plenty of working double enders here if i need to clip something off that's pretty much going to be it for overhead environment and what i carry in my side mount pouch okay. so there you go guys that's what i keep in my pouch for overhead environments whether it's caverns caves whatever even wrecks i'll carry some of the same equipment with me even if i'm doing advanced wreck training or something like that but i'm gonna jump over here with my student get him finished up on his line drills we've got another couple of dives to make today and then i'm gonna take him to a different cavern system tomorrow to finish up his cavern cert because i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a big thumbs up if you got any questions drop me a comment down below and i'll try to answer as quickly as i can let me know what you keep in your side mount pouch whether it's for open water environments or even overhead environments and that way i can learn from you guys just like i know you learned from me because I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to go ahead and get signed off. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.